Do demons affect music? Do they write it for you? Does getting a little help you write? Well, today, me and my friend Rob from the Babylon Pastor Podcast react to a reel from Jackie Hill Perry, and we talk about music, demonic impression, all of that sort of thing. It gets a little weird. Let's get into it. Last, last one here. I think you're going to find this interesting. This goes into spiritual warfare as well. Um, now, this is, this is going to be right. a little inception, because what we're about to watch, I'll tell you, is somebody watching a reel as we watch them watch the reel. And they're, they're, so they're not even going to react. It's one of those really lazy content strategies where I put myself at the bottom of a reel and I just go, yeah. Like, oh, I, I, right. I don't react to it. <laughs> I just watch something. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm view stealing. Like that, that's exactly what this person seems to be doing here. Nothing Sweet. added, but I, I can't, I didn't put the effort into finding the original video just to, so we could have the original, but here you go. There are spiritual side to music. I like this song. Cause it sounded ghetto. And I was like, I, I like ghetto songs, no. you know? What, what does that mean? We say ghetto. What's... Just sound ghetto. Yeah. Like it just sound like the producer might've been high. Like, like, but he wasn't. <laughs> I, I fully believe that a lot of secular music isn't just good because of the, the resources, because I think they have more resources, but I think it's good because they be having demons help them. And like, mm -hmm. like the de I'm not lying. I feel like, I feel like if, when I used to smoke weed, there is something that happens to your mind where you hear things sonically differently. Mm -hmm. And so I just be wondering if producers are actually in the spirit when they produce, mm -hmm. because you can't tell me that the Holy Spirit can't make you make better music than a demon possessed God producer. Created you know what I'm saying? Heaven and earth. God creates the enemy perverts. Mm. And as believers, we're called to redeem. Sure, so good. I feel like we shouldn't limit ourselves to only redeeming certain arts, especially like we said earlier, this is the most, rap is more influential than any genre. 1, so it's like, I never could see God saying, stay away from that. That's influential. Don't do that. Only mm. like, come on, we, we're called to redeem. So good. Let me know your thoughts and followers. Subscribe for more. Jackie's whole point was in the clip, even though it was sped up and distorted, probably so it couldn't be copyrighted, um, was that there are demonic forces very likely helping make in this particular instance rap music that influences people to do evil things versus uh whenever christian writes christian music the holy spirit is helping them and influencing them to make christ honoring music there seems to be i i would say there may be a point that she's making there. Am I saying like, oh, demons are influencing everything um, in the music? I don't know <laughs> if I'd go that far. But I think to her point, there is a reality that like when you listen to certain songs specifically, a lot of rap music, not just rap music, but it, a lot of it, there are very un um, Christ-like things presented within the music that then does disseminate down into uh, behavior that people that listen to that music do just like again to be fair like country music a lot of people that that listen to like conservative country music have really conservative country theology which isn't good and so like i think there is something to be said about what you listen to affects how you live i think the different level that she's talking about is are there maybe influences behind that that aren't just from the writers themselves thoughts um, so initial thoughts are <clears throat> that particular clip. Um, I, I would say, uh, that, you know, I, I, like you said, I think she, she could have a point, um, there. I think that, uh, as a, as a Christian, the Holy Spirit should be influencing and empowering everything that I do. Um, and so whatever, uh, whatever typical, um, gifting or talents or, or whatever that the Lord has, has given to me particularly. Um, uh, so we'll just say preaching, right? Uh, this is something that you and I both do. Uh, it's not producing records, um, but it's, it's still, it's still dropping that, fire. Mm, yeah. Still dropping bombs, baby. Uh, but <laughs> that was probably the cringiest uh, yeah, yeah. thing I've done this entire, this entire time. Sorry. Sorry for everyone. <laughs> Just watch it. Uh, don't click away. Don't click. Um, uh, but uh, it, it, it should be, that should be true. Right. Um, uh, because uh, the, the spirit uh, lives in a person. The spirit is so uh, the, uh, we call them spiritual gifts <laughs> um, and, and any talent that anyone has uh, what in the, 
uh, I want to say Exodus even, um, the, they were given, uh, certain people were given specific gifts to be able to craftsmanship, to be able to, to, uh, uh, create the tabernacle. Um, and so even those kinds of things, right. Which is like being a carpenter or an architect or, or whatever, right? Like all of these things are, are gifts. Any talent is a gift from, from above. So, um, and, and I would say that, uh, so on the, on the God side of it, um, well, it should be, uh, influencing and empowering, um, what, whatever we do. Um, God help me, uh, if I'm preaching and the spirit hasn't helped me. <laughs> right. Um, and, and you could say that the same thing about, uh, producing music like she's talking about or anything else. Um, I don't necessarily think that, uh, that, uh, the, the world needs, uh, tons of help, uh, from the demonic realm to produce music like rap God, uh, from Eminem or other things like that, like, because that's just, uh, that's the depravity of the world, right? I mean, that, that's just the world being the world. Um, I'm not going to say it's impossible, you know, because I mean, of course that, that, that could be a real thing. It, it does influence a lot of people. Um, I think, uh, that, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess I, I, I don't like disagree necessarily with the things that she was saying about, about it. Um, I, I probably wouldn't say anything like that dogmatically, but she didn't either. So, yeah, well, I think it, it gets on to, <clears throat> it'd be really easy to go over to, uh, uh, the extreme of putting, uh, you know, oil on your bed really quick. Like if you, if you take it to like, Oh, all this music yep. is bad. Now to the second point that I think uh, the, the clip sort of entailed here with, which was this other, the other lady talking that I don't have a clue who that is, but she was talking about, you know, redeeming certain things. Right. So she's like, mm. you don't just, you know, you don't just not redeem rap music because of, you know, the association that it has. Um, there I think there is something to be said about believers redeeming certain things. Obviously you're not going to redeem. Yeah. Like I'm not going to redeem uh, only fans, right? <laughs> like by becoming an only fans, by like you don't redeem things like that, but there are things that you can redeem in regards to uh, like genres of music or uh, types of writing or um, like, I don't, I think there's this line here where Christians, sometimes we try to, we take that like over redeem it. Right. So instead of just writing music that glorifies God, we're like, well, we're writing specifically Christian music. Um, I, obviously there's worship music, but then there's like CCM, right? That's just music yep. that happens to honor God. Um, or we're having a Christian t-shirt company <laughs> like, well, yeah, that's true. Like we, <laughs> we sometimes instead of just doing things well, like we should as believers, right. We then have to put the Christian label on it. So now we're, a Christian t-shirt company instead of we're just a t-shirt mm -hmm. company that operates in Christian ways, right? For example, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is a thin line because um, I don't know where they're at currently as far as leadership, but Chick-fil-A is not a Christian chicken company. It's just a company that sells chicken that does it really well. And they want to do it, you know, in ways that I, it's last I checked yeah. the glorify God. Um, and so that's the idea, right? The, the hope would be as believers, we're redeeming things in such a way that we don't have to slap the Christian label on it, that you're just doing it well. People want to emulate it. And when they try to emulate it, they find out that, oh, you're doing this in such a way that it, it, it lines up with the way God has ordained the world to operate. Huh? There's some like, um, Sean, Can <clears throat> well, <clears throat> there's, I think a really good example of that. And I don't know these people personally, but like Sean Cannell does, uh, think media and Sean Cannell is a believer and, uh, didn't really state that out right for a long time. But as people like started trying to model and like copy the, how they do video production and how they grew their company that came out a lot more. And so you have like a lot of these entrepreneurial YouTube channels that you have a lot of these Christian creators now or creators that are Christian that when they're on podcasts and start getting asked, like, why do you do your, you know, why do you operate the way you do? It starts coming out that, Oh, well, we're, 
we're believers. And so we live and operate this sort of way. And I think that's, that's versus how we grew up where it was a Christian t-shirt company, a Christian food company, a Christian car company, instead of just slapping Christian on the front of it, it's just, you do it well. And because you're doing it well, you're successful. And because you're doing it in God honoring ways you grow. And then you're able to show like the reason this is working well, isn't because I'm savvy it's because that i'm just honoring the principles that god's put in place anyway um, yeah and i think that's that's i think really helpful for believers what she was talking about redeeming things so yeah uh i think there like i think you said an important you gave an important point at the beginning when you were talking about it and that there there are things that i think christians just shouldn't touch that aren't aren't uh there to be redeemed right um I think an example that I've used in recent months on on my own channel has been um, uh, the Enneagram, right? So that's a popular thing to talk about and and uh, people are into and all of that stuff. Uh, essentially, this is something that um, if if all it were uh, were like a business tool or something that you could utilize to find out kind of where your talents lie or, or whatever. I mean, if it were some, but, but this is something that, that actually is, um, uh, it takes the place of the work of the spirit in, in a person's life. Right. And without getting into all the details that that's, that's not something you redeem. <laughs> right? That's something you just get rid of and pick your Bible back up. Right. Um, but uh, but I think that by and large, like there, uh, the large swath of things um, in in the world, uh, I would I would even say there are lots of things that it's not about uh, redeeming as much as it's about reclaiming, right? Um, because ooh, ooh uh, that's good. <laughs> because Satan um, uh, creation is God's, right? And uh, and that means music as well. So in this particular instance, right, um, that means all kinds of genres of music. Uh, I, I don't think that genre has anything to do with it. Um, I, I will never forget. Uh, I feel like we are digging a, up a core memory right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, going. Uh, so I was dating a girl uh, in uh, high school, the high school days. Uh, pastor's daughter, and I'll never forget innocently rolling up uh, to their house for an overnight, like a weekend or something like that, and rolled up there. And uh, and part of the reason that I was there, I didn't know this, was uh, to uh, be taken down into their basement, which was like the church fellowship hall as well taken down into the basement while her brother proceeded to sit across from me at a, a, a table and uh, attempt to talk me through why uh, Christian rock music was satanic. Um, so this was an and, intervention. Uh, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Um, and it was actually after a situation that happened at, at one of the uh, camp things where there was electric guitar or something. I, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think someone did like Jesus freak for the talent show or something like that. And, and so then, it, and I was like on that side, right. I was fine with that. Right. And so I got in trouble essentially is what it was. But so I like, I, I know that I think genre, like making those kind of distinctions is um, arbitrary and childish and stupid and unbiblical. Right. Um, so it's, it's for me, it's not genre. God, God invented harmony. God invented uh, uh, mu the language of music. Um, and, uh, and you cannot tell me, nobody could convince me that someone, uh, I, I mentioned Eminem, right? Someone with that kind of talent, uh, I, you can't tell me that God didn't invent that kind of ability uh, to be able to like that's that's magic <laughs> how how someone can and not just him but just in general like that because like that kind of genre isn't evil a, a genre of music isn't evil the the people who um who produce the people who write the people who perform they are either evil or christ's 
right? Um, and uh, and so uh, it's it's not so much about uh, for me redeeming a certain genre of music. Um, it's about uh, it's about uh, uh, reclaiming it if if it's been taken if that's the view, um, or it's about making a statement that like this isn't yours. <laughs> um, uh, and maybe that's what redeeming is. Uh, I guess we could you can make that argument, but. Uh, but for me, like, I think that this is like my eschatological view <laughs> plays into this because I, like Jesus is is right now on his throne as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords sitting at the right hand of the father. And uh, and he must reign until all his enemies are put under his feet. And uh, uh, and part of that uh, looks like Christians going in every area in in the world every area in culture and saying no this is actually this actually belongs to christ um and so we're gonna do it this way <laughs> like so so i think that there's um that was i guess a long way for me to say I, I i agree with that i i would even say it more strongly um frankly than than what she said it um like there are some things that are of demonic invention and serve no purpose like only fans <laughs> or yeah, uh, or you know whatever, but um, but but by and large, you know, like I think, um, uh, by and large, the the things that that aren't like that, which are is a much longer list. Um, those are those are Christ's. Um, there's a king in town, right? And and so it's as Christians, we we um, we do things. Uh, as Christians, um, we don't always have to slap a Christian label on it necessarily. I think that uh, sometimes people do that because it, it almost creates an automatic um, customer base, right? Because yeah, yeah. Like, I'm really gonna, you know. Yeah, so, like Patri Patriot Mobile. If you're a real patriot and you ain't no Democrat, <laughs> right, 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 you'll right. use our phone service because you know Verizon is of the yeah. devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it right. because yeah, there is this reality yeah. that yeah, there's this there's this oh, well if you are a Christian then therefore you will use this stuff because if you why right. would you not support a Christian company no matter how badly we suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. I like the, the 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 breakdown of definition there as far as reclaiming um it then versus yeah yeah but there's this reality that god has created these beautiful things and oftentimes i think some of the um uh like the arts um you have this real renaissance of like a painting and iconography that's used by believers um really in the early sort of in the early centuries of christianity in which it's all of this art that is now used to glorify christ and uh you know painting these pictures of biblical events so that others that can't read can can see the beauty of them and and you know learn that way like there's this real redemptive yeah. part of saying this thing that people often use for evil we are going to use for the glory of god and the growth of his kingdom and doing mm -hmm. that via and i think i mean to your point of m m right i think that was the appeal for a lot of people for nf and i'm not sure where nf is on like where spiritually he lands currently but like that was the appeal at the beginning was that like oh look you can do something that Eminem does do and you can do it in such a way that really taps into the reality of Christians and their growth and what it means to follow Christ in ways that, I mean I think NF is probably the Christian equivalent of, of Eminem in regards to just the the ability to do um, like sort of lyrically that that same thing with that that sort of speed and nuance and clever turn of phrase um, because I can assure you I can't do any of those things. So, I'm, I'm glad that you explained that because I don't know who that is. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> so um, you can <laughs> look him up. So uh, that being said, I think that I think that really wraps it up. So there you guys go. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, in some sort of way or fashion, I'm, Rob. I don't even know why you would say that. Of course, it's helpful to them. Well, welcome, on, welcome man. to my, welcome to my saved, my saved folder. Um, there's hey. a lot. Of, there's, hey. there's a. Hey, everybody, listen. Come, come here. Listen. Come here, close. Come close to Rob. Hold on. Um, I just want to welcome you and thank you for watching our Christian podcast. Our 
Christian podcast. You've got to listen to it because it's Christian. Dude, you made it to the end, even with that weird ending. Thank you for watching. And if you liked it, make sure you click that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, I don't know what your problem is. And we'll see you next week.